Hey everybody, so this is for you new Helium Hotspot miners out there. I want to talk to you about some of the new functionality available from explorer.helium.com, uh, ways that you can figure out how much you can earn based off of the location you are in. And first of all, I gotta say, wow, uh, I feel like looking at right now it's saying we have 473,383 hotspots that are currently part of the network. I feel like right at the beginning of the year, this was somewhere a little under 450,000, and now we're at 473,383. That is crazy to me. I uh, kind of want to look at more details about that and uh, kind of figure out where people are getting hotspots. Like right now, it just said the most recent one that was installed is Fancy Pearl Leopard in uh, New Jersey. Where are people in the United States getting their hotspots? I mean, I I haven't seen any that you can't like pre-order six to ten months from now. Well, okay, there are a few maybe that'll come out uh, sooner than that. And that even being said... I, uh, my hotspots from Bobcat hopefully will arrive in the next, I'm going to say 30 days. That's what I'm praying for. That's what I'm hoping for. But psh, who knows? We'll see. Right. In the meantime, uh, Fancy Pearl Leopard just came online and I'm betting, uh, we're not going to see any numbers because they just came online. Right. It takes a while before we see any numbers there, but Hey, good for whoever got their minor and it is a sense cap. I love sense cap. That's awesome. They need to really get a, a new antenna. And I'm going to talk about that in a second. But we can see they're located right here. What I do want to show you is some new features. So let's talk about that for Fancy Pearl Leopard. How well do you think they're going to do where they're located here in uh, New Jersey? Well, before we used to have this button for explorer.helium.com in the lower right-hand corner where we could just see transmit scale. And we would just look and say... Uh, well, that's not the greatest area. It is in the orange, at least it's not in the red. And as we drill down and click on it, we can see there are two other people that are also located in that hex. And we'd say, well, let's look at their H&T, how much they've made over 30 days, and try to guess based off of this information uh, how well a person can do. And we would guess uh, looking around, just clicking randomly on other hotspots to see if somebody maybe was doing better and then maybe what antenna or what other information we can gain to know whether they're doing better. But now we have a new feature. We can go down to that lower right hand corner and click on earnings. And all of a sudden, helium is now a starburst of color. We have grape and cherry and orange flavor, right? Taste the rainbow. Um, no, not exactly. But uh, what it does show here is your average earnings over a period of seven days. Uh, so if I click on this, it says here, compares hotspot earnings in a hex with the average earnings of a hotspot on the network. Green hexes represent hotspots with average earnings. Blue hexes are above average and red are below average. And that being said, it's calculating average at about 0.14. Ugh, yeah, that's, that's horrible earnings. If that's average, that's not good. Um, and then anything in the blue is 0.28 or above. So let's just say 0.3. Um, yeah, I would say 0.3 would be good earnings. So it's kind of nice. Now I can go around and easily see here who's got good earnings around me. So that being the case, let's jump back to, uh, okay, I lost that hotspot. But that's okay because we can jump to this hotspot right here. We see that they're doing pretty well. Exotic Marmalade Goat. And we can say, why are they doing well? Well, that's why they're doing well. Wow, they're hitting everything. And it is hard to know why because they have not updated their antenna. I'm sorry, there is no way uh, a bobcat with a 4 DBI antenna at 0 meters is doing this well. Uh, they have to be, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm okay. I can believe they have a 4 dBi antenna. I just can't believe that uh, they are uh, only 0 meters. They have to be pretty high up uh, 
somewhere in a uh, condo high rise. That's my personal opinion, but you know what? There's a few other blues, and that's what I love. Now I don't have to just randomly guess. I can just click on another blue and say, okay, well, this person is doing uh, 11.19 H&T in 30 days. Let's see what they have. Okay, they're hitting, oh, they're hitting way farther, but they should be hitting farther, right? Because they have a 5.8 DBI antenna at 12 meters up. Wow, only 12 meters? Okay, let's jump another one over here. Let's see how this one's doing. 5.78, that's that's not 11. Let's, let's find someone that says more. Okay, Dazzling Tiger Raccoon. And by the way, may I point out once again that transmit scale is proving that it doesn't affect your earnings that much your transmit scale you can fix it through better equipment and that's what people are doing right so even if you have a transmit scale of dazzling tiger raccoon here with 0.33 they're making 14 h and t uh, in a 30-day period that's that's almost 0.5 a day uh and let's see why how they're doing it they're doing it because they're because they're not telling me why <laughs> whoa 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 uh now either that person's spoofing all the way up there in Woodstock or uh, something's going on because I I questioned that. Hey, let's measure that. Let's uh, see. Uh, we're going from here all the way down to here. And that's 142 kilometers. Um, I, I, I honestly, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Uh, I think something's going on with that person up there in the top, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, point being is I should still have better information here. There's no way that someone is using a 3D BI antenna and uh, doing this well. And uh, admittedly, not everybody has updated their information uh, as much as the Helium Network would like them to. Some people, well, quite frankly, unless you have over a 9 DBI antenna, you don't have to. Right. I mean, it's it's not going to really affect your earnings, but sooner or later, we'll see if it actually affects you based off of uh, the system determining the strength of your uh, either beacon or your ability to witness, etc. Uh, we'll see. I don't, I don't know at this point, but my point being for all of you who are new right now, the 20,000 of you who just got your hotspots in the last 10 days or maybe many more of you who have just decided to start hooking them up after doing research. Uh, it's now very easy to just look around here and click on a blue and try to figure out, oh, see, I'm, I'm hitting the wrong button here. Let me go back, hit the right button. That was not the right button. Kind of curious what that does. Oh, that takes me back uh, to my house. That's pretty awesome. Okay. And how am I doing? Yeah, look at all the blue around me. That's right. We're doing well over here. We're getting, and I got to gotta get the right, why is it still hitting this button? Why is it doing this? Okay, I got to turn off the measuring. That's why. Yep, 13.16. If I click on it, let's see how I'm doing. Yep, over a thousand. But that being said, uh, it's all downtown. Uh, but still, I'm I'm loving seeing 0.651. Honestly, my earnings have jumped. And I, if many of you have noticed your earnings have jumped recently, please let me know why you think so. Uh, it I'm recently getting 0 0.65, 0 0.66, 0 0.53. See, it went down here, 0.31. Then again, 0.51. So only in the last couple days has it jumped into the sixes. It's normally hanging out around the fours. Sorry, 0.4, 0.5. Uh, but it's doing a lot better. And uh, don't get me wrong. I love it. I would just like to understand what happened to make those numbers go up. And Because I, I hope they stay up. I know we all do. But my point being, guys, is now we have a great way of looking around and figuring out uh, if you are in a specific area, just uh, selecting the blues and figuring out what people are hitting to get an idea of what you can make. And uh, most of you, that's what you want to do, right? You want to figure out what you can make. And hopefully uh, you'll find somebody there with true information. Like I said, this one is again, three DBI, zero meters. It's got to be more than that. 
Not everybody puts their information in, but uh, honestly, they should. Here we go. This one's 9 dBi, uh, 12 meters. Only 0.35, though. Um, surprising, because uh, we have so much, uh, so much green in this area for a transmit scale. I'm surprised they're only making um, 0.35. Well, anyway, I just wanted to show you all that... This is a great way of determining what you can make. Now, I always still recommend you think about either having a uh, 9 dBi directional or omnidirectional antenna. Um, get as high a dBi as possible. Put it in your roof. I think most people are doing that, but I, I can't prove it because <laughs> people haven't changed their settings. But I do love going in now and knowing that I can just click on a blue and find somebody. And here, here we go. 8 dBi at 8 meters. See, that's that's accurate. 0.53 today. Great job, uh, muscular charcoal armadillo. When you hear these names, do you, do you get like visions of like what kind of icon they should have to represent them? I, I wish we had a automatic generator of uh, icons that go with these names. That would be awesome. Okay. Last thing I just want to say, guys, is as much as we're seeing these numbers are so great, we're still seeing low uh, numbers in terms of dollar value. And, of course, that happened because, yes, very recently, like today, we went at its lowest it's been in quite a long time, $29.3512. That's right, below $30. And that would have been the... Best time to buy, I'm going to say, because for those of you who are thinking that H&T is probably going to go up to 50 again, well, this is, well, as low as I think it's going to be. Um, now, I am not someone that really studies the market. In fact, my wife does most of that, uh, but I'm just looking at it compared to what it's done in the last 30 days. And if I go over here to uh, 1220, we'll see that's probably as low uh, as it's been and then as you can see it jumped very dramatically in just a couple days all the way up to well at this height here it was 43 then it went down up here to 45.0825 and now down to where it's at now which is 31.1815 so my point being is uh, a lot of people sold, especially when it hit at 45. Maybe they got mad. I'm always surprised. Why, why do people get mad and then just sell? And then you can see that sell, 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 sell off all the way down to when it hit about 37. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm personally thinking about buying because uh, I'm in it for the long haul. Uh, I am uh, keeping HNT for quite a while until I feel that it is uh, really worth selling or uh, to pay off something. <laughs> we'll see what I'm going to need to pay off in the new year. All right, everybody. Hey, thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you like more content like this. Uh, I think that these are interesting new features that we have. Uh, but uh, certainly, I hope this makes it so it is more happy mining for you all. Take care.